807, it is the time of year when people are making plans to welcome loved ones into their home for holidays. But families in one Greenville County neighborhood, they're busy packing up to have to move out. Mm. And some, they have nowhere to go. It's a heartbreaking reality. Fox Carolina's Myra Ruiz, she joins us in the studio with more on this. Myra. Well, neighbors in a small mobile home community along Appaloosa Drive in Greenville County were given the required 30-day notices to vacate. And now they're approaching the holiday season with financial hardship and uncertainty. The worst fear is being homeless after living at an address for 12 years. I don't have funds to get storage building because the most important thing is having funds for a deposit. And the deposits are very expensive because you have to pay first month and deposit. I'm hoping it won't have a big effect on her, but it could have an effect on her. She has ADHD, so, you know, her school's already, they already know her, how she is. and Tell her that it's going to be okay to have faith and if you know when she if she does have to switch schools it'll be a better place she'll make new friends and it's just gonna be okay so that is a mom trying to be hopeful as they face what so many other school families are going through there are 1053 students in greenville county who are considered homeless 1193 in spartanburg county and 600 38 in Anderson County, but we know those numbers continue to change as uh, the family circumstances also change. Lisa Butler is the homeless liaison for Anderson County School District 5. You've been doing this for 20 years. How are you seeing these numbers uh, going with the homeless numbers? Yeah, they, they're continually growing and, and this just the economy is just so hard and they're struggling at this time. And a lot of time it's because they, they get behind and just slowly and it just multiplies and it's hard to get back on track. Yes, and I know that you provide all sorts of help, food, clothing, transportation to make sure the child stays at the same school. What's the first step for many of these families if they need, if they find themselves in a place with nowhere really to live? Yeah, if they have children in a school district, they need to contact the district office in that district and they will connect them with a homeless liaison and then she'll go from there to go through the steps of how to get help. And they can also get help maybe getting vouchers to stay in temporary housing like a hotel? Uh, some districts offer that if they have grants for that purpose. We'll also work with the shelters in the, in the area to get them some housing. Yeah, so the first step for many school families is to actually contact your school district and you'll get help from there. Other people are being told to contact other resources in the community. Mm -hmm. um, I know a GoFundMe account is being set up for the different families in this neighborhood. They're hoping to get their feet back on the ground as they try to find somewhere to live. In the studio, Maya River Ruiz, Fox Carolina News. Maya,